Hey everybody, there's a part one of this video, so if you want to watch that, then you click here, unless you've already watched it. In which case, you know, if I, I'm wasting your time. So, you know, like, I shouldn't do that. So, we're just gonna continue on. Let's go! Way. I don't think I'll ever get tired of that intro. How could I not put this on the list? It's classic. It's the one and only. It's made its way into every subsequent Mario Kart game in one way or another, and for a very good reason. It sounds freaking awesome! I wouldn't be surprised if they composed this music specifically so that it would sound even better with the sound of engines revving over it. It screams the essence of Mario Kart. The tense nature, the speed, and of course, it's timeless fun. While Mario Kart 8 tried to update and modernize it, the compressed synthy vibe of the original is where it's at. Maybe we're just conservative and against change, but when it comes to this track, it should never change, nor leave the franchise. It's just too good. music perfectly represents, in my opinion, the characters that the tracks are named after. Waluigi and Wario. The Wario Brothers. Are they brothers? If you listen to it at first, it may just sound like a bit of a more up-tempo and slightly more energetic version of the Raceway music from beforehand. But there's more to it than that. At least I think so. I think. The Raceway music has more of a straight edge and basic rhythm and notes. Much like the Mario Brothers themselves. They are the norm, but Stop the noise! when the cousins are involved, and let's face it, they're weird, this music perfectly suits that. The music is reminiscent of the raceway, but each note that is played is just slightly weirder, and it's more jarring, it's more attacking and unique than its vanilla counterpart. Mix that in with the pinball sound effects from the actual stage, and a pumping drum beat, and you've got yourself one hell of a memorable track. Mario Kart is chaotic. It's mayhem. It's unexpected. It is borderline random. It is why. But seriously, anyone who plays Mario Kart, which should be everybody, knows and sometimes even criticizes the game for its randomness and almost cheapness. So much so that some prefer Sonic All-Star Racing, claiming it's more balanced. M-E-H. Meh. I mean, it's a good game and all, but those fucking bees, they are cheaper than the blue shell in all honesty. Oh, no, not the bees! Not the bees! Ah! But back on track. This track represents the chaotic vibe that Mario Kart has been famous or infamous for. It's got a country vibe to it, which makes sense. And a repetitive, almost circular melody emphasizes the internal fear inside all of us. When am I gonna screw up? The music particularly goes well with Yoshi's Valley, seeing how that damn track is a maze. Will we reach the end? Will we find that giant spinning egg at the end? Will we get first place? Or will we fail and have to kill somebody? Was that? Rainbow Road isn't number one? 
Rainbow Road is the pinnacle of all Mario Kart games. It's the prettiest, the most complex, and the most challenging of all the courses. And also you fall, and fall, and fall, and fall, and fall. Basically it's hard. But which Rainbow Road music track? Each one is different and special in its own way. Once you unlock it and hear it for the first time, it blows you away. From electric guitars to grand orchestras to heavy synths, which one? So I'm gonna puss out here and do a top five of this number two. Just because. Number 2.8. Number 2.6 Number 2.4 Number 2.2 Number two, which is number one, I guess. It's the classic and the most memorable. While the other tracks have a magical esque vibe to it, this is the only one that has a mysterious space vibe about it. Perhaps it was the limitation of the SNES back in the days, but whatever the limitation it was, it has given birth to the most classic and surprisingly chilling and grandest track in the Mario Kart music repertoire. I know what you're thinking, Coconut Mall, the shopping centre track that's just sorta average in the grand scope of the racetracks, that's your number one? Well, remember, this is music tracks. I actually don't have much fondness for this racetrack in itself. I mean, it's not really bad or anything, it's just... meh. And the car park is just... But, I love choosing this track. Why? Just for the music alone. For me, I only choose this track so I can listen and race to the music. While all the other tracks were great in design, accompanied with fantastic music, this is the only score that supersedes the racetrack itself and is the sole reason I choose to play on it. Why? Remember with the Yoshi Valley music, how that represented the chaotic nature of Mario Kart? Well, Coconut Moor represents something even deeper. It digs into the psychology of the player. Do you feel that dread? Something bad is gonna happen. You know it. The music knows it. And it can't wait for you to screw up. Oh, it's happy on the exterior, it's bouncy, but the offbeat melody, the seemingly drunken piano, and the breakdown, it knows something is gonna happen. And yet, it's also just so damn groovy. I keep finding myself nodding my head and tapping my feet, just looking like a complete idiot every single time I play this track. So for a track that represents the essence of Mario Kart and is the sole reason I want to play on an average racetrack, you can see why it takes the number one slot. Also on the final lap, it's ridiculous. That 
was my top 10 Mario Kart music tracks. But hey, I'm not the only one with an opinion, you know, so I want to hear your opinion too. Share it down below and I'd love to hear from you. Or you can call me an idiot. That works too. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching this silly top 10 video I made. As I said beforehand, I'd love to hear from you guys what your top 10 Mario Kart music tracks are as well. I want to have some discussion here and see if you agree with me or just absolutely hate my choices. I want to know because, you know, I'm very interested to see what other people think about the music of Mario Kart. It's, something, it's not a topic that a lot of people actually talk about. Have you ever tried playing Mario Kart on mute? really detracts from the whole experience. If you like what you saw, then please uh, give it a like and share it. It means so much to me. And if you really thought it was good, why not subscribe? Because that really means so much to me. I, I, I would love you for it. There's a couple of videos down below that I think you'll like. And yeah, we'll have a good day, everyone. Goddamn thunderstorm! And I hope you have a great day. I know I ain't. It's, it's thundering out there, so... Uh, I'll let you go now. Have a good day, mate.